permission to be confused. There's a state where we're feeling like we want to do something, but then having this like really intense pullback feeling like we can't do it. And what it causes is this, we end up living right in between. So we're not doing the thing and we're not fully okay with uh, that, not doing the thing. So there's this like this confusing feeling because, you know, when you stay so long in that space where you're not moving towards kind of what you want to do and you can't, and we, part of us starts to kind of give up. And that's really frustrating because the other part of us says, you know, well, that's going to make you feel really amazing. And then part of us is giving up. The way we get away from the pain of that is like this buffer zone of fuzz. You know, it's almost like it feels okay. It feels like almost like comfort to be confused because we don't have to do the thing and we don't have to like be aware of how much we're getting on our case for not, you know, doing what we want to do. So this confusing state, the undertone of it is 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 pain. The undertone of it is like, ah, this does not feel good. But it it sometimes is the best option when we can't go and we can't not go. And I didn't get a good night's sleep and then there was a lot of noise outside. Um, and I'm like, I couldn't do work. I couldn't not do work. I couldn't like sit down and focus. Like, all right, I'm gonna go get my coffee and I'm gonna be confused today. And we'll just see what happens. <laughs> I drive, I get a coffee, I drive, like, for, like, three minutes, my car stops, just totally stops, you know, it's just like, uh, turns out I ran out of gas, the petrol gauge is broken, and I miscalculated, some guys pulled over, uh, they, they assessed the situation, came back with gas, filled up my car with a little bit, and it was just, like, a comedy of errors, you know, I get to the, I get to the gas, gas station, I'm still in this, like, totally confused state, my three credit cards, none of them work. And I have $5 left in my wallet. And thank God, because I was going to give it to the guys who bought, who helped me out and they refused it. So I've got this five bucks. I buy enough gas, just enough to go to the ATM machine, get more money out, go get more gas. And I'm still like in this fog. And, and I just, I was down on myself, you know, for feeling confused. And I just thought, no, I am going to be confused. I'm going to treat confusion just like any other emotion, you know, just like, you know, frustration, anger, sadness, uh, whatever. I'm going to treat confusion just like anything else. And I'm going to allow myself to be confused. Like, I'm right to feel confused. I'm right to feel this way. And I started, I went on a run, like, over here. I just started crying because I was like, I got to let myself be confused. Went into this whole, like, shamanic journey in my head while I was running of just, and I kept telling myself, I'm not going to try to figure anything out. I'm not going to try to fix this. I don't want to try to figure anything out. And so sometimes, so guys, this is a permission slip for confusion. Allow it. You know, you don't have to go forward. You don't have to hate yourself for not mo not going forward. Allow yourself to be confused fully. Sink into it. Sink into that confusing state, just like you would, you know, how we're working on all these other things, like with all the other um, difficult emotions to handle. And you'll see that you can, um, you know, have a good cry about it and, 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 you'll feel better and a little clearer. Um, well, the run helped a lot. So I think it was a combination. Permission to be confused.